your team and welcome back to the channel so yes it's kind of cold at my place and i'm suffering also with cold and cough so if i cough in between the videos please don't mind me team okay <coughs> sorry about that okay so in today's video i'll be explaining you what kind of projects you should work on if you want to go for devops jobs okay also i'll be explaining what kind of projects i'll be using in my batch 3 and there will be total 20 projects okay i'll explain in a minute okay before that team uh, some of you already are connected with me on my linkedin so if you are not you should definitely connect here i'll tell you the reason so i post lot of things okay specifically for different kind of steps for example recently i implemented ingress so steps i posted here and if you want to get those things uh, like that so you can just connect with me here everything you will find on linkedin okay another thing team as you know i already have a telegram channel which is completely open anyone can join okay and uh, <clears throat> so if you are having any kind of issues doubt or queries if you want to have one to one connect with me you can just join this channel and you will find all the things that needed okay also team i have made my top mate completely free so anyone who wants to connect with me on my uh, uh, on on like one to one connect if you want to have you can just schedule a call my top mate link will be in the description as well okay uh, and it's completely free but the thing is since i do not i have very less bandwidth so i can connect for 15 minutes with each person okay but i hope that will be enough so make sure to join this uh, channel as well okay team okay coming back to today's topic so today we are going i am going to explain you every single project what kind of projects i am going to use okay one more thing team as you know as you already know 10th of december will be a master class scheduled for everyone okay this master class is about 10 tier microservice full stack application where i will be showing you everything from scratch that is setting up kubernetes cluster inside aws from scratch okay doing auto scaling in worker nodes that also then i'll be showing you how to use role based access control okay which is kind of best practice that you should know definitely know and <clears throat> using service account then we'll be setting up jenkins from scratch connecting jenkins to kubernetes from scratch everything from scratch docker docker image building as well as like application building then finally doing the deployment using uh, jenkins to kubernetes okay and as i told everything will be from scratch so don't miss out this because uh, this is one of kind of project which specifically freshers can use in their resume okay it is very useful for specifically freshers okay for a uh, experienced person will be explaining later okay now coming to today's topic 10 real time corporate level projects so i'll tell you first one thing team as you know at this point there is a big crowd in devops okay and almost everyone is trying to jump into devops but obviously if you want to get a job and make a career in devops you need to stand out from others how you can do that first you need to have more knowledge more skill sets on devops as well as cloud devops devops plus cloud devops is a big like a bonus for those who wants to get a job make sure you understand that at least one cloud platform devops uh, like complete structure you should know be it aws or azure but you should have okay next thing if you have experience in deploying all kind of project that means java based project python based project node.js okay and dotnet if you have experience in deploying and building and deploying using devops full stack pipelines and if you have experience then it's going to be really useful and that is what i'm trying to give you in batch 3 okay as you already know like i try to give the real time scenarios how things happen in corporate okay <coughs> sorry about that so let me walk you through about the projects so first project that we are going to work with is java this is a full stack project having front end back end and a database as well as the login page also which is already connected with database okay so the kind of operations that we are uh, i am going to show you through hands on implementation is crud operation create read update or delete operations okay so when you are starting with devops and want to work on projects like this then this is the best option that uh, find a project with uh, which is having crud operations like you can create something inside the project you can read all the details in the project you can update or like make some changes in the project as well as you can delete some contents in the project if you are able to perform this kind of operation this is known as crud operations so this is one of the first project that i'll be showing you with hands-on implementation obviously okay 
Second kind of project, it will be a full stack project with front end, back end, and database. And this is going to be a really, really useful project. It is, uh, it is a like uh, some sort of like gaming application uh, that I'll be showing you. Okay. Coming to next project, so it is going to be an e-commerce application full stack. Okay. And being an e-commerce application, it will be having a front end, back end, and a database as well as login page completely connected and working okay <clears throat> and yeah this is written in java actually so coming to next programming language so yeah uh, if you have java knowledge if you know how to build and deploy java based applications it's good but having knowledge on other programming language based application it's like bonus so i'll be using a full stack node.js based project i'll be showing you how to first of all i'll uh, for node.js since it's also a build tool so i'll be showing you how you can create node.js based project in simple ways okay as well as how to build and deploy those kind of Node.js based application. Okay. And this is going to be really useful. Coming next, Python being one of the most popular languages out there. So we are going to build and deploy a full stack Python based project also. And it, see, whatever programming language that I'm showing you, I'm not saying that I'm going to show that simple web page. No, they will be fully functioning. Okay. For example, <coughs> this python based full stack project so it will be having proper functionalities and it will be interacting with our vms as well okay so this kind of project i am going to deploy with python these are hands on on batch 3 okay moving on dotnet based project so dotnet is also one of the uh, languages that is being used out there okay so to make sure that you have uh, you have knowledge in understanding how to build and deploy dotnet based applications i'll be showing you hands on implementation for deployment of a full stack project of a dotnet okay that will be very useful coming next so this is one of the most important uh, application uh, that i'm going to show you it is a responsive web portfolio website okay this is a, a portfolio website which i will be showing you how you can build and deploy okay and this uh, this uh, this project is written in node.js okay the way that we are going to deploy is docker compose see also team like these many projects so we'll be deploying them to explore different ways of like how uh, applications get built and deployed okay so this is another project which is written in uh, node.js okay coming to next so this is one of the most important project so <clears throat> this i'll be showing you how to do everything from scratch 10 tier microservice application you obviously you can understand if you have a uh, knowledge on this then you will be able to deploy any kind of applications and you'll be having a very good understanding how these kind of microservice based applications are getting built and deployed right coming to next application so this is a bank application okay this is a full stack application which i will show you how to deploy build and deploy okay and this also like uh, this bank application will be working fine everything is available multiple buttons multiple web pages and everything and everything connected together okay coming to next so then finally we are going to build and deploy a full stack train ticket reservation system okay so this is a very little uh, kind of complex project which is having basically a reservation system for train tickets okay so this also i'll be showing you how to build and deploy right now these are the 10 projects <coughs> that i am going to show you how to build and deploy hands-on right everything now coming to next 10 projects which you should know so team the thing is key if you are going to transition or if you are going for devops job interviewer expect knowledge in corporate level projects right and that's what i uh, i'm going to show you so basically if i go here these are like as of now like i have created four projects but in batch 3 there will be 10 corporate level projects okay so the thing is that the information that i'm going to give you about this is that i'll be sharing with you the uh, project diagram uh, that i create okay with uh, its functionality i'll be explaining you its functionality i'll be sharing you a, a architecture of that application okay and then explaining you how it was built and deployed okay and what was the role of devops engineer in that okay also not just that day-to-day -day activities relevant to that or to that specific corporate projects so if you have knowledge of all these things then nobody can stop you from getting a job okay and that's what i will try to make sure okay so team yes uh, if you are interested definitely 100 percent register to this course it's it cost around six thousand but trust me it's worth it everything that you need to know it's available there okay team but for now i would suggest for definitely 
register to this uh, free master class on 10th of december that is two days from now okay and <coughs> we have limited seats so make sure to register as soon as possible okay team so yeah that will be all for today and i hope this video made some sense into you to understand what kind of project you should work with okay so yeah team uh, with that being said uh, yeah thanks for watching have a nice day